Hi, my name is Shamal Tahir, and I'm here with the Mitaka Design Series. We're just about a week after the Design Summit, and today I've got Jesse with me. Jesse, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, I'm Jesse Pretorius. I'm the project technical lead for the OpenStack Ansible project for the Mitaka cycle. I work for Rackspace in the UK as a DevOps engineer in the Rackspace private cloud business unit. Jesse, coming out of the Tokyo Design Summit, what were some of the hot topics that you're, you discussed about your project? Well, we spent a lot of time um, just listening to the OpenStack operator sessions. That was very valuable to us. We also participated in the cross-project section, sessions and uh, did some collaboration with some of the other Ansible projects in the, open, in the Ansible collaboration day. Um, we had our own project discussions as well, which were around needs, which we identified uh, as, an, as important to perform, to form a uh, position in on the last cycle. We specifically discussed how we could add value around upgrading OpenStack and whether image-based deployment should be a focus for the project in this cycle. Very cool. Definitely sounds like a high-priority user need. What, what other user needs or problems uh, did you guys decide to tackle during the Mitaka design? Well, we're uh, spending quite a bit of time looking at how we can um, make the project focus more on providing a tool set for operators rather than a uh, tightly coupled uh, deployment tool set. Um, this seems to be the way that operators prefer to consume the tooling. So we're taking a look at that as uh, as how we can actually respond to the user needs. Great. And so what would you say are top three priorities for new features or enhancements to the existing project? So breaking out the monolithic repository into a set of composable parts, that's a major thing. Um, that'll increase the flexibility of how the tools can get used. Uh, increasing the quality of our testing uh, in a big way to cover more code paths and also to provide examples for use cases that are important to our deployers. And then implementing um, a production-ready upgrade framework for OpenStack to help make upgrading easier and more successful for our deployers. With that, what would you say are some of the key themes that you're tackling uh, for the Metata release as well? So reducing complexity. Um, we're trying to do things that are simple to use and simple to understand. OpenStack's complicated enough, and our deployers really don't need to have to learn another complex deployment tool in order to do what they want to do. Um, then the other theme is to improve modularity. Try and implement everything as composable units to allow deployment to use our deployers to use any of the tools we provide to improve their OpenStack deployment configuration upgrade experience. So is there anything else that you'd like to add that we didn't touch on uh, during this conversation so far? Well, one thing that struck me was um, in the summit and in the conversations I had is that the deployment projects have a unique position in the community where we get to be the first to test a lot of the things that are coming out of the development community. And we get to either um, lead the operators in uh, new feature deployments, or we get to figure out some of the hard, the hard things that the, the operators don't really get the time to figure out. So uh, I think that as a deployer community, we could spend a lot more time um, getting together and being that interface between the two parties. I think that would be a valuable thing for the deployment community, whether it be through Ansible, Puppet, or Chef, or any other tooling, uh, we can play that role and uh, and help the community as a whole. Great point. Well, thank you so much, and we look forward to the wonderful things coming from the OpenStack Ansible deployment team, Mikasa. Great. Thank you for having me.